today's Legal on 4. Questions an employer cannot ask you during a job interview. The new year frequently marks an increase in people interviewing for new jobs, and it's an especially challenging time to look for work these days, so it's important that you know your rights concerning what types of questions employers can and cannot ask you. Our legal contributor, Craig Wisnam, joins us now, and I suspect probably the, the biggest one of all is age. How old are you? Yes, now the, the, the generally the federal discrimination criteria mm -hmm. is age above 40 okay. but yes it's one of those things that shouldn't normally be asked and unless in in our normal lives it may seem polite to ask kids and stuff their mm -hmm. age and mm -hmm. such but of course most of us learn that that's not a good idea in general what are some other things that, and how what are these things based on these are generally the criteria upon which you cannot discriminate under federal law and generally okay. state law as well so these are things that if they impact your hiring or your um, promotion practices in your job you uh, you're violating the federal law but these then become specific things that you shouldn't ask about because they shouldn't be relevant to the job qualifications as a general rule you want to think about not asking about those things that you cannot discriminate about and asking about the things that are relevant to job performance that's what everybody is there for bottom line so age is out yes. can't ask how old uh, what about anything regarding a disability? You generally cannot ask about a disability. You can ask about someone's ability to perform their job. So obviously there are certain things that a person might be have some sort of limitation that's going to prevent them from doing that specific job. But what you can't you know, ask about disabilities or perceived disabilities or familial relationships with someone with a disability because those aren't going to be directly related to the job. Okay, national origin. Can't ask about that. Um, and that's one of those things that sounds um, maybe obvious, but one of the time that comes up, especially for people who may be a kind of folksy when mm -hmm. they have these things, is, oh, where were you from? Where were you born? That seems like an innocuous question. I exactly. And if it's within the United States, then it's not really relevant. But if someone who's born in another country, it could conceivably come under that thing. So it's not something you should ask about. Race or color. Exactly. Yes. And again, maybe a little bit more of the obvious ones that you, sh you, you shouldn't be asking about in any situation mm -hmm. but uh, something that's prohibited here religion exactly another one that said no no you can't ask what religion you are exactly and again you can ask about things related to a job you know this job requires you work on Saturdays or Sundays mm -hmm. is that a problem you can ask about things like that but again that can be somewhat kind of innocuous if, if someone says oh what did you do for Christmas or you know what are you doing for Easter and things that may seem kind of normal in conversation but really reveal you know things that they can't ask about and this one seems like it sh doesn't even need to be mentioned, but gender, if you can't tell. Well, that's one of the, that's <laughs> one of the protected classes, so, you know, that's one of those things that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you have to ask, I don't know. But and here's another one, pregnancy. Pregnancy, you can't ask if someone's pregnant. You can't ask about marital status or familial, you know, parental status. Are you a parent already or you plan to be? Those are things, again, some of those come up very normally in our day-to-day -day conversation with mm -hmm. people. Oh, are you married? Do you have kids? but those are things you should not be asking out at a job interview and as a as a pl employer a lot of times you know that and people will talk about these things anyway and you know, there's nothing wrong that the person who's the applicant can mention these things if they want mm -hmm. but they should not be brought up by the potential employer but you say that an employer can ask if you've ever committed a crime uh, well you can ask if you've ever been convicted of a crime convicted. not necessarily arrested because okay. that may become something that comes in and committed of course <laughs> maybe <laughs> Asking them to, uh, you know, con <laughs> confess there in front of you to something that they've not even been caught doing. Okay. But yes, that's something. And you can't ask them to prove, or can you ask them to prove if they're U.S. citizens? You can't ask about citizenship. You cannot. You can ask, of course, if they're legally able to work in the United States. In fact, in many cases, you're as an employer, you're required to check that that you're hiring someone who can work here legally. But you're not allowed to ask them about necessarily the citizenship versus, you know green card status. And bottom line, they don't have to answer any of the questions. If the any of these illegal questions exactly, and as I said, uh, like anything in life, if you're prepared for them when you go into a job interview, if you kind of think, what happens if they ask me these things? How do I want to respond? You've got some options. You can be polite about it. Maybe it's things that you really don't care and are innocuous enough. You don't mind saying you're married or something like that. Um, but be prepared and try to kind of sketch out how you'd act because if you get asked 
asked and asked and surprised, you're not going to know what to you're say. You're going to stumble and bumble and get crazy. Yeah, but eventually, you know, you can decide to answer it. You can decide to kind of politely decline and, and, and you know, tactfully indicate that it's really not something you want to talk about. And ultimately, though, if you feel that you're, it rises to the level of discrimination and something you want to pursue, you can contact the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, the federal agency, or the Arizona Civil Rights Division through the Attorney General, where they can enforce claims like this if something's been done that really crosses the line as far as you're concerned. All right. Happy job hunting. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. Appreciate it. So